again this is quite thick but let's find out if this is going to blend into my skin or if it's going to leave a white cast <gasps> okay so let me just show you the consistency see how thick it's like a body <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to another skincare video in today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys my honest review on these two products that's the dr rachel spf 60 sun cream and the my choice advanced sun cream for face and body i've used both these products i've used two of these products i've used this product for more than a month and i'm here to give you my honest review because sunscreens are so important as a person who lives on this edge you need to protect your face from the sun sunscreen is something that you have to have in your daily routine especially if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation or you are dealing with dark spots or you really want to get your skin to radiate to get to that place that you want it to be you need to protect your skin from the sun yeah and i know that skincare products are very expensive right now sunscreens are expensive as well that's why i'm here to give you the review on this product these products are very affordable these products are below 5000 naira guys so should you purchase these products do they leave a white cast um what are the ingredients in this product how do you use this product find out in the rest of this video so my loves the first product that we are going to be reviewing on today's video is the my choice advanced sun cream for face and body vitamin e spf 60 you know spf 60 protects your skin from the uv rays of the sun and what does it say it says that preventing sunburn and protecting against skin damage from ultraviolet that's the uv light it works by blocking the sun's uv ray that's what you want you want to protect your skin from the sun uv ray and this is xpf 60 so the higher the xpf the higher the protection so we have 30 xpf 40 50 60 this gives you maximum protection and what's the direction it says for best results apply as a thin film evenly to the face neck and exposed areas of the body sunscreen at least 20 to 30 minutes before onset of sun exposure meaning that you have to use this product at least 20 to 30 minutes before you get into the sun this is what you do with your sunscreens you use them at least 20 to 30 minutes before you leave the house before you expose yourself to the sun and this product is actually made in thailand so some of the things here are not written in english but i'm just going to mention a few products that are in this sun cream it has water definitely zinc oxide it has hydro generated castor oil castor oil has a lot of benefits for the skin it has glycerin to moisturize your skin and one important thing that it has as well is glycolic acid and collagen collagen helps with anti-aging and you know to avoid wrinkles and all of that these are some of the ingredients that are contained in this sun cream i've used it before so i can tell you that this product has like a thick consistency i'm not just going to tell you i'm going to show you so let's try it out what we normally do is the two finger rule you know the two finger rule or three finger rule of application thereby you take your sunscreen on two of your fingers depending on how wide your face is i don't really think i have a wide face so i'm gonna do the two finger rule that's what i do normally on my skin so i think the product one two this product is actually quite thick it's really quite thick it scared me at first when i saw it. i was like damn this is quite thick but let's find out if this is going to blend into my skin or if it's going to leave a white cast <laughs> okay so let me just show you the consistency see how thick it's like a body cream like it looks really thick let's see what happens i'm just going to move my hair a bit to the back of my hair and blend so let's blend guys I feel like this might take a while.
let's see and i'll also advise you that when you are using your sunscreen try to bring it down to your neck as well because your um neck also is exposed to the uv rays and you don't want to have like a smooth face that isn't aged and have like you know an old neck so no um for the purpose of this video i'm going to blend but what i do sometimes is to rub this on my face and just allow it for a couple minutes and let it absorb into my skin then i can now blend that makes it faster but right now let me just blend so you guys can see how long it takes to blend so wow wow oh my god where are all the products going oh my god do i have any other products on my face let me just check i have a mirror in front of me wow that blended really fast it, it did take a while it took like a minute two minutes there about to blend that into my skin but look at that blend there you have it guys the my choice um advanced sun cream doesn't leave a white cast and i do consider myself a black girl yes so for someone even lighter for someone even darker than me this product wouldn't leave a white cast and it really has like a nice smell but i will tell you that it has quite a thick consistency so that is what i noticed about this product does it make me sweat yes it does i feel like that's um the thing with sun cream you would sweat but i don't think it's profusely it's not as much as would make me leave this product and one other thing is that it doesn't stink my eyes guys i've used sunscreens that actually stink my eyes and those sunscreens are even more expensive than this and this product is below 5000 naira. i think i got this product for 4000 naira and this product is 150 grams guys now that skincare is really expensive and you don't want to repurchase and keep purchasing your sunscreen because sunscreen is something that you have to reapply you have to reapply your sunscreen at least every two hours and this is 150 grams this could take you for a while it doesn't leave a white cast it doesn't stink your eyes and it's quite affordable it has a nice smell it blends into your skin properly this product is a genuine yes it's a total yes i was scared at first i was like wow this product is quite cheap would it leave a white cast on my face it didn't so we're gonna go over to the next product which is the dr rachel anti-aging sun cream for the doc dr rachel anti-aging sunscreen um actually the dr rachel anti-aging 60 spf moisture sun cream prevents the appearance of dark spots hydrates and antioxidants invisible finish no white cast that's what they are claiming for the description a powerful antioxidant complex to help protect skin from the free radicals caused by uv rays while preserving its youthful look regular use every day can protect the skin from sun damage and keep the skin from getting premature aging dark spots due to sunlight its lightweight formula can be absorbed quickly it's oil free and will not clog holes so they are telling us that this product is lightweight is lightweight and i can tell you because i've used this product i've used like two of this product this one is almost out it's out already i just wanted to try something else just like i told you guys and yes it is true this product is really lightweight and for directions they're saying we have to use it at the last step of our skincare routine yes your sunscreen comes at the last step of your skincare routine not before your moisturizer they've made their claims let's see i've used this product just like i said it's quite lightweight i hope there's something left here for me to show you guys the consistency so the same thing two finger rule so that's pretty much it let's see see the consistency of this it's very 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 lightweight let's put on up my skin i already have the my choice on my skin already but let's see let's blend this in this is quite easy wow this blends really fast way faster than the my choice
and it leaves like a dewy yeah the other one still has like a dewy finish but this one is a, a bit more shiny than the other one so try to take your sunscreen down to your neck as well because your neck is also exposed and your hands as well so see how this blends into my skin so i'll tell you for free that the dr rachel sunscreen doesn't also leave any white cast it's easier to blend in it's spf 60 and it's really really, really lightweight so which product is better well i'll tell you the differences this is 150 gram this is 60 gram this has like a thick consistency and you have to blend it you have to work it into the skin it takes longer time to blend in this blends in really fast but you know it's just 60 gram so it depends on what you're going for if you can if you can compromise on blending and you really want a lot of product because you know how you have to reapply your sunscreen all the time so you don't want to keep repurchasing i would say you should go for this it works as well the my choice advanced sun cream you can use it on your face you can also use it on your body it's spf 60 this is also xpf 60. one thing i'll tell you that is that when i was using this product i noticed that it helped like it had this brightening effect it helped um take care of some of my hyperpigmentation really mild hyperpigmentation but that's basically what sunscreens do especially when you're using them with other products that treat hyperpigmentation they would actually help brighten your skin this i'm currently using it also works really well for my skin as well so let me know in the comment section which of these products you prefer you saw their consistency you saw me use them this is what i've been using for like a month now and this is my skin of course i do have other products that i also use on my skin let me know in the comment section if there's any sunscreen or any product you want me to do my review on and i'll definitely do that for you and if you've not subscribed to my channel what's happening why haven't you subscribed feel free to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you're gonna be the first person that gets notified whenever i drop a video um so dr rachel sun cream my choice sun cream let me know in the comment section which do you prefer personally i like both i can have this i can have this i have the both of them i use this basically um when i'm really in a hurry or when i want to use this i use this also when i can use it for the rest of my body and all of that they are really nice they smell really nice they do make me sweat but it's not really a lot they don't eat my eyes they're so beautiful both of them don't eat my eyes and they are lower than 5000 naira guys in this economy there are sunscreens that are lower than 5000 naira that don't eat and don't leave a white cast so guys i will definitely see you guys in my next video thank you for watching this video don't forget to like this video because it helps the algorithm recommend it to people that will need it as well and let me see you guys in my next video Ciao. Bye, guys.